it's widely reported how the Indian Air Force is hit by a shortage of spare parts. When spares coming in from abroad are often delayed, it would be ideal to manufacture these intricate spare parts right here in India. This Bengaluru startup did exactly that. Rapid DMLS 3D printed a bracket of MiG and Sukhoi fighter jets and shipped it in just a matter of days, which otherwise would have taken months. Somewhere in the near future, we will be able to 3D print most objects, food, body parts and much more. 3D printing has thrown the manufacturing industry wide open. Needless to say, there is a massive growing demand in the nascent 3D printing space. The show which I used to watch was Shakalaka Boom Boom, where the kid used to draw with his magic pencil. When I heard about 3D printing, that is how I felt. I could go to a 3D printer, print something I want and I could get the part. So every day I come to office, it's kind of that <laughs> uh, being in the show. The aerospace industry has been among the early adopters of 3D printing. And Rapid DMLS is printing engines for launch vehicles to be put into orbit. Uh, we have done monolithic rocket engine for a space startup called Agnikul in Chennai and they are being monitored by ISRO. So what Agnikul does is they make rockets for payloads within 100 kilos and we have done rocket engines for that. You can print the rocket engine in 4 to 5 days whereas a conventional route might take up to months. And right now we are developing a proto of an aero engine for the defense and research organization. The global additive manufacturing market is also to grow from $600 million to $3 billion in seven years. When we started, we had two options, either to go with polymers or with metal. We chose metal because metal has a lot of functional importance compared to plastics. Shravan believes that widespread 3D printing across industry verticals can catalyze India's growth. But 3D printing is a costly affair right now and Rapid DMLS says that creating new materials is the first step in making it affordable. In 3D printing, we, until now, we have just 8 to 10 different alloys which have been qualified. There are a lot more to go. So our main aim is to put multiple machines, use two or three for the production and the rest for research and development where we keep developing new materials that could take up to an year. But once we start developing new materials, it goes to all the industries and different potentials are then opened up. Because all these alloys are available through conventional manufacturing. But when it is available through uh, 3D printing, it is a game changer. Not only does metal 3D printing have exciting prospects for the future, but it also holds relevant possibilities for the present. Over the years, Bengaluru has transformed into the startup capital of the country. In this series, we will be looking at the most exciting startups in the city. Do tell us what you think in the comments below.